What is up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video and today I have my updated jewelry collection video. This is just going to be like the jewelry I was wearing and then now the sets that I'm currently wearing. If you guys have noticed in like the recent videos or Instagram pictures, I have been switching up my jewelry. I used to mainly wear yellow jewelry, yellow gold, yellow sets. I kind of started in yellow as far as like jewelry and streetwear goes. It's kind of like what I first went into. My first chain is the one that my dad had given me and it was this one. Let me try and pull everything out right here. I have this little jewelry bag that I keep everything in. Yeah, so it's this one. This is the first one that I kind of got started all into. I'll give you guys more detailed shots about this later. This is like a crazy piece to even start with. Yeah, I know it is kind of simple. It's Trinidadian gold, pretty solid. 24 solid and it's just insane but it's like super heavy and um i had a pendant on it but the pendant is no longer with us unfortunately um just because of how the how soft of a gold it is over wear and tear one night it was just gone you know what i mean so that's just something to be expected with um very soft yellow gold the, the higher it goes up in the carrots the more prone to breakage it is because of how soft of a metal it is and so just be wary of that if you guys are ever getting 24 karat gold definitely just make sure it's built to to withstand whatever you're gonna put it through you know what i mean and also the, the clasp of this is really weird i don't know if you could see that it's kind of like a serpent it's really strange but like i can never undo it i always have to pull it over my head and with my braids it always gets tangled so i used to always just keep this on until i started dabbling into my white set which i'll get into later on in the video but this is the first chain that started it off this is kind of like all stuff that should be you guys should probably already know already and then also along with that first ring that i kind of got this is from my grandma i guess like her company ring or whatever this is what they gave them for when they were retiring she wasn't a big fan of it and it's also like just pretty big she couldn't really wear it and she didn't feel like getting it sized down because her initials are inside so it would have messed it up she was like here you want to have it take it this is 10 carat and it has mini diamonds in it i don't know the the clarity or the the cut of the diamonds or anything like that they're tiny they're in there they don't dance as much because they're pretty tiny and there's no room for them to breathe in the back either but uh it's really beautiful i love the way this looks and with my yellow set i love it a lot and then from there it was like time for me to like get my own stuff and then that's when i got the swage ring last year just like my baby i love this ring and i kind of want to do something along the lines of this later to include with my white set which i'll get into a little in a little bit but um my baby the swage ring beautiful I'm such a big fan of this ring like when i got it made i was like damn like i finally got something that i've been wanting to do for a long time this is 14 karat it's pretty light though that's the only thing that i don't really rock with too much but um it's just a little light for my liking but it's really really nice like the details on our perfect a little scratched up now just because of wear and tear and everything like that but uh, nonetheless it's beautiful i love it 14 karat and i don't know the weight but s-w-e-i-g-e -E, what i created what i stand by next after that is this yellow rope chain a client of my mom's she works at a car dealership they give her gifts here and there when they close deals and this was one of them it's like this yellow rope chain and she loved it, but I loved it more, so I took it off of her. I don't know, I just, I liked it a lot, so I was like, yo, let me take that off your hands. I've blessed her with jewelry in the past too, so like, it's kind of like a trade-off, like, she takes some things of mine, I take some things of hers. I got her like a Tiffany necklace recently, and also a Chrome Hearts official uh, beaded silver chain. Yeah, so we have good trade-offs, you know what I mean? So um, this is just something I took off her hands because I, I really wanted like two chains, like I had like, the solid one here, but it was kind of plain because it didn't have a pendant, so I wanted to double it up to make it look a little interesting. So this was a good addition, in my opinion. Yeah, it's 14 karat rope chain, but it's kind of, it's on a lighter side, but it's still dope. I like the way it looks. And also it's not normal because you could pull it through and make it like more of like a choker and then just let this dangle. That makes sense. But yeah, pretty cool, I like it. And then after I had that, that was like my full yellow set. That was all I was wearing. I was like not forced into a yellow set, but like I started with one piece, so I was like, okay, let me build out the yellow set. But I knew, I knew white gold and silver looks better on my skin tone, like in my personal opinion, and also for my style, just white jewelry looks better for me. So knowing that, 
I, like I wanted to get a couple pieces here and there and I always was by buying rings I didn't like them I, or I couldn't find the right rings for what I was looking for exactly and eventually piece by piece it started to come together so this is the first one last December we'll call her one of my best friends she gave me this ring for Christmas really dope I like the way it is it's like super distressed dark tarnishing around it, it kind of looks like a like what a like a bullet would look like in a sense if that makes sense you know what i mean it's just like charred on the edges it's super sick grimy looking you know what i mean holes in it really sick and this is 925 silver i don't know where she got it made i got her something similar to this which is like i got the suede ring made and then i got her her middle name I put on my instagram a long time ago i got her name made by the same people at popular jewelry this is made by popular jewelry by the way if you guys want to get any like name stuff like any name rings or like any like gold jewelry and you don't know where to go and you don't know where it's trustworthy definitely go to popular jewelry like they have a reputation to uphold and i definitely go by them like if if you don't know where to get your jewelry from and you're just like starting it off starting off into it definitely go to popular jewelry it was way heavier and i like it a lot so that prompted me in my head i was like damn i really want to get one for myself i still haven't gotten it yet but in replace of that in that time i got the earring by fernando and jacob which is really sick you probably obviously can't see it right now because it's blasted out the earring i believe they still have this if they don't then they have the star bracelet which you could get in replacement of this and uh if these aren't available right now fernando and jacob they killed this everyone always reads it like when they they look at my jewelry they're always like oh like what is that what does it say and they're like yeah and i was like i break it down I'm like yeah it's my it's my boy's company shout out to them this is a sick piece too i believe it's 925 silver also and uh cubic zirconian stones on the inside so that was like the two white jewelry that i got into that i like really started appreciating and then also I was like, my mom started realizing that I was getting into like silver and white jewelry and then she's like, oh, like your great grandmother uh, had given me this ring, but it's way too tiny for me. Or like, I think she just wasn't wearing it. My mom's side of the family is from Belize. If you guys don't know where that is. It's like in between Mexico and the Caribbean. There's like a lot of like Mayan tunnels and stuff like that. So this is like ancient, super old like Mayan jewelry. And it fits on my pinky. It means a lot to me. This is sick. Like this is like one of my favorite pieces and it's like not even that crazy, you know what I mean? But it's like Mayan detailed all around the band. And I just wear this on my pinky. Really beautiful. I love the details of it and where it comes from comes from a meaningful place you know what i mean so i like that each little piece of jewelry has like its own meaning or like where like a little story of where it comes from you know what i mean starting into stuff that's more recent if you guys have been following on the chat i probably won't take this off just because it's kind of a hassle to put it back on because i don't have anyone around me right now to help me put it on yeah this is just a bracelet from silver stone it's a cuban link bracelet just like smaller obviously like i'm not a rapper i don't have a fat cuban bracelet like i'm not young thug or anything but Pink. Oh, now. All different colors. Pink now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no cap. No cap. Sterling silver, 925, Italian, Cuban bracelet. It's a little big, but you're going to want that with bracelets just so it can move a little bit, have some movement. You don't want it too tight because, like, if you flex your wrist like this, it could break easily. You know what I mean? So... This is really nice. I love it. Easy way to clean your silver, by the way. If it starts getting a little too tarnished, all you have to do is do uh, baking soda, hot water, and put a piece of uh, tin foil at the bottom of the cup, and it'll clean it right away. Just leave it in there for like five minutes. It'll be super shiny, just in case you guys didn't know that. And you just like whisk it around with a fork. I know this sounds like I'm trying to teach you guys how to how to fucking make crack, but it's it's not that. I, I promise you guys. I promise. Most recent after the Silverstone, which would be still from Silverstone, is this feather chain. Got from Silverstone also, and it came with the chain also. It's kind of like a Franco link. It's like two feathers. Really nice. Very elegant. I'll show you guys details of that later also. Really nice though. I, I like I like that a lot. And I was wearing that feather chain along with this... Um, gucci dog tag that i've had for a while i got this from harley this is like vintage gucci really crazy the only thing with this is that my cousin when i was in new york she's super young she's like five years old uh she loves playing with me she loves going crazy and like being super wild and she yanked on my chain and she 
like she busted like she busted like right at like one of the claps or whatever but it's still hanging on i just have to like go to a jeweler and just like tell them to connect it a little bit just to make it a little stronger but it's still hanging in there i just don't wear it right now because i don't want anything bad to happen to it when i'm out or anything and i don't realize so this is in uh retirement for right now until i get it repaired again but uh, it's cool because you just put it through here it's not like a true clasp it's just like a bar clasp so then that's how you close it it's just held together by this thick in this circle you know what i mean that's how it's closed so really cool vintage little piece and then that was my white set for then and then i was like i need to step it up a little bit i i like silver jewelry i like white gold but the whole point of me getting into white diamonds look better with white gold as opposed to yellow in my personal opinion so i was like i want to get some more stuff with diamonds i didn't know where to start or where to dabble into first right around that time where i wanted to get into it like crazy is when my boy romel started posting a bunch of stuff on rd archive and one of those pieces being was chrome hearts it was a crazy set he has the ruby one i believe he has a bunch of chrome hearts pieces but he has the ruby set of the one that i have and he posted the white set for sales like fuck i need these like these are crazy the retail for them i think is 2800 just for the big cross um the mini cross i have no idea what the retail so based on my prior agreement i put the mini cross on the same chain as the feather chain and it looks dope it's like two pendants on one it makes it a little more crazy looking but you guys will obviously see better details of this later because it's not doing it justice because of the ring light. It looks great on this chain. Like, it looks amazing. I love it. And trust me, the camera doesn't do it justice. Like, the diamonds go crazy. Like, insane. Like, I, I, I love, I love, love, love the mini piece. And you know what's crazy? I was just going to buy the mini piece. And then he kind of talked me into getting the whole set. He was like, I'm going to give you the mini one for free. Like, why not just get the big one? I was like, you're right. <laughs> you're smart. Like, let me just get both because I know eventually I'm going to want to have two pendants anyway so that's what i did and oh let me see ah, sorry this chain is stupid long but yeah and then this is the big boy the big pendant a little bigger bigger diamonds in it too different closure on the top it's just like a circle on the top for this one uh for the mini one in the smallest details you can see that it says chch um on the top like closure of it like a little circle but uh, I'll try and get details of that. Like I said before, I keep on saying, cause you guys can't see like what I'm talking about. This one on the side of it, it says 0.925, the year of it. And then also CH, a, a bunch of different details along with the diamonds. The diamonds are like insane on this bro. Like, I, I'm in love with this piece. Like definitely my favorite piece of jewelry. And you know what's crazy is that this one chain is worth more than my whole white set which is crazy you know what i mean although money's not really like all it is to it with jewelry like i feel like it's like if you love the way it looks on you that's all that really matters in my opinion it doesn't have to be super expensive you know what i mean as far as buying chrome hearts jewelry definitely go used don't pay retail for this do not pay 2800 for this little ass cross okay no one should be doing that go on grailed make sure it's a legit seller because they do sell fake chrome hearts and yeah that's about it like just make sure it's a legit seller don't pay retail at chrome hearts for the jewelry at least like for the clothing it makes more sense because on grail the clothing goes for more expensive for some reason but anyway the jewelry is way cheaper on grail though so make sure you go do that that's a smarter idea a smarter alternative in my opinion so make sure you go do that play smart with the jewelry make sure you can get a good return on investment if you are playing this whole jewelry game that's why i was dabbling into yellow gold because you could sell your yellow gold and get the money back with silver you're not gonna get as much money back unless it's branded jewelry like chrome hearts which you could resell on grail and get your money back regardless so yeah that's about it you guys stripped me of all my jewelry because i took all of it off um it's all here all here going crazy this is all my white and then this is my yellow set let me try to pick it up so this is the yellow this is the white this is what I have after a, a couple years collecting. So I'm happy with it. This is what I've been wearing like all damn, like like this is like my favorite right now. This is crazy. Although I love this, this is my favorite right now.
Because it just fits my style, fits where I'm currently at with my whole styling and my like just my whole personality and everything. This is where I'm at right now in 2018, going into 2019. So appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure to check out my new videos that are going to be on the way very shortly. And make sure to go follow me on my Instagram. G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E -E is my Instagram. Make sure to go stay tuned with that. That's where I'm more consistent and frequent on the internets. So yeah, <laughs> that's about it. Thank you guys for checking in with me. Peace. My new bitch, she so valid, she so bad, she got an accent, ayy. Always be just buzzing, so she's stressing, can't I be, ayy.